This is from at Keeping Up Gaming. Any tips, Ian, for just starting out a podcast? Find someone you like just enough. And when that can't happen here, what, what do we do? How do we do it? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I think with, 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 uh, I, th I think, I don't know. We did this by accident. No, it was, it was planned. Well, it was, but I mean, we got this far by accident. I wouldn't call it accident. Ian. there's some hard work that got put I, I know there is, but I, I mean, we take exception to that. I, I, I don't mean it like that. <laughs> I don't know. It, it like ours worked because it worked. I, we have good chemistry, and I think the chemistry it, 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 is the biggest is the biggest factor. And you don't well, really know if you have that good of a chemistry with a co-host necessarily until you've done a few of them. Yeah, I I think. Well, we, we have very peculiar personalities in general. Sure. Separate. Yes. I think when you put our personalities together, it's a strange cocktail of, of, of a little bit of weirdness, a little bit of, of, of absurdity at times. Mm -hmm. But it's, you, can't, you can't replicate a dynamic. Uh, that, dynamics are always different. So you and your friend have a dynamic that's unique to yours, and it can be good. It also could not be good enough to do a podcast just because you have a friend or someone that you can converse with about a topic that you agree on. And, and usually agreement's not good for a podcast necessarily when you come at things the same way. When you agree on something, you usually come, back, come out at even a different angle in order to make it interesting. But you have to be able to make something interesting, which I'm failing to right now on this topic. <laughs> but but, but my, my advice for just starting out is this. It has to be fun to you. You can't force it. You got to talk about things you want to talk about, whatever. If it's, if it's uh, music, uh, which to me is the worst thing to talk about in a podcast, just because you, it's harder to break away to the example. It's harder to describe songs as you would describe a video game or a movie or a TV show. It's a lot more difficult. This is my opinion. I think it is. Um, then again, what the fuck do I know? Uh, but be consistent if you're doing a podcast. As much as you, it's tough consistency when you're doing it, not just for any potential audience, but for yourself to be disciplined enough to do it. If you do something and you're going to uh, pick a time, stick to it, and that's your time to do it, whether it's every Saturday, you know, every Tuesday, whatever. I also just, feel like consistency among topics is important. I feel like, uh, you know, there's a lot of podcasts out there that, you know, people starting out uh, and they, they use their first you know, five episodes or something like that to try to something, something squeaky. Oh. Uh, they use like their first five topic or um, episodes or something to try to figure out what topics they want to land on. And you really should nail that down first because you'll lose people. If you know, they think you're talking about, are you a video game podcast? Then, okay, no, now it's a wrestling podcast. Okay, now it's a movie podcast. If those are the things you want to cover, then try to hit on each of those every episode instead of jumping around because you'll wow. never find a fan base. Sure. But then, yeah, I think there's two ways to do it. You can establish a theme of people like, like there's, there's specific podcasts just for one game. So it's like a Destiny podcast. Sure. My, my pal Destin does a Destiny podcast, which I never get over Destin, Destiny at IGN. So, you know, people that like Destiny are going to tune in for that no matter what. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, yeah. whether you do a broad range of topics like we do or you but, focus in on one, just try to make sure that that's what you're doing from the start. Sure. So, you either have a consistent topic, it's a wrestling topic, it's always wrestling. Otherwise, it helps to have a, a, some sort of following. Fortunately, before the podcast started, I was on YouTube for like five years, so that helped. Right. There was something that, okay, people knew me. They can try to listen. So I wasn't totally starting from scratch. So so that's not actually advice to how you start out, but be consistent, have fun, don't force things, and d let you know when a, when a when a uh, topic is petering out, like right now, you, you you let it die. You let it. You kick it to the curb when you move on. You move on.